What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your man, Chaz Ellis, once again. And a lot of ladies want to know how to tell if their man is full of crap. It's like trying to tell the difference between this Fiji water and this toilet water. Yeah, they kind of look the same. They're both water. They probably even taste the same. No, I'm just kidding. These are both Fiji water, but they could have been toilet water. You don't know. You never know. That's why you gotta do tests. You might test the alkaline. You might actually read the package. There are certain things that you need to do to tell what you're drinking, to tell what you're doing, to tell who you're living with, to tell who you're around. So here are five signs that your man is full of crap so that you can tell a difference. The first sign that your man is full of crap is making plans with no definite time frame. If you're making a plan that has no time frame, it's an idea not a plan. A plan has a time frame. A plan starts at a certain time, ends at a certain time. Otherwise, you don't know when to show up. So when somebody is making plans with no definite time frame, you know they're full of crap. The reason why they're doing that is so that they can get all of the positive feedback of making a plan without actually having to do anything for you. So you can't get mad if a person doesn't do what they said they were going to do. They're like, hey, we're going to go to Disneyland. You can't get mad and say they lied to you because they never gave you a time frame. They could have meant that you were going to go to Disneyland in 2035. You don't know. So you can't say they lied. So this is one of the best moves for a person that's full of crap. Making plans with no time frame because you can never get called out for lying and you never actually have to do anything. The number two sign that your man is full of crap is always suggesting that you call first. It's kind of hard to be full of crap on the fly. When somebody hits you out of nowhere, showing up at your door, it's kind of hard to put on your good happy face and all the things that you've been fooling them with for the last couple months. It's easy to do when you have some time to prepare. You're like, let me get into character. Now you go right back to what you normally do when they leave. It's pretty simple. But if they hit you out of the blue, catch you by surprise, you might be in there doing anything. You might be in there smoking black and miles with your side chick. It's kind of hard for you to stay in a mode of fake, but you can always do it if you have time to prepare and time to think about what you're going to do next. So a person who's full of crap doesn't like to be surprised. They're always going to suggest that you call first. They're going to get mad if you pop up, even if they don't have somebody over there at the time even if they're not cheating or doing anything wrong at the time, the reality is you popping over means that you're gonna be able to catch them in the act if they are messing up. So they gotta check you even if something's not going on just to condition you so that you will never catch them in the act of doing something that they're not supposed to be doing. Now, just because I'm saying they want you to call before you show up and they will demand that, that doesn't mean that they're gonna do that in return. They might show up at your house at three o'clock in the morning in their draws. They don't care, but they're going to always expect for you to call first, no matter what. The number three sign that your man is full of crap might sound a bit weird, but bear with me. Never disagreeing. When someone's full of crap, they want to keep things going as smoothly as possible, as often as possible. Why? Because you're not really a part of their future, so there's no reason for them to argue with you. The reality is they want to smash as much as possible for as long as possible. And starting arguments over things that really don't matter is going to hinder them from being able to do that. So if you say something like, well, I don't want to live here in this city for the rest of my life, and they've been planning on living in that city for the rest of their life, they're not going to argue with you because you're not going to be a part of the rest of their life. If you say you don't want kids and they do, they're not going to argue with you because they're not having kids with you. They're basically trying to smash for as long as possible, and any argument is going to stop that for at least a day or two or even a couple hours, and they don't need that in their life. Sign number four that your man is full of crap is when they always lose their phone. Now, I know people are like, well, accidents do happen. Yeah, accidents do happen, but grown people don't lose their phone every day. When you're with them, they've always got their phone. They're answering phone calls, text messages, listening to music, showing you videos. 
How is it possible that they're doing this when they're so forgetful and they lose their phone all the time? Hmm, wouldn't they lose it when they were around you? Wouldn't this be something that you saw on a regular basis? Wouldn't they lose their keys all the time? Wouldn't they not know where they parked? But they seem so efficient when they're actually with you, but they're so inefficient when they're not. Hmm. No, a lot of times what it is, is they're out doing something that they probably not supposed to be doing, and they don't want you calling them. They don't want you bothering them. They don't want you asking questions like, hey, where are you? Hey, can I show up too? They don't want you doing those types of things. So they say, oh, I lost my phone. That's a good excuse for them so that they can go do whatever they want to do, come back whenever they feel like it, and all is forgiven and all is right with the world. And the fifth sign that your man is full of crap is being friends with the ex. Now, I know a lot of people say, I want my man to be mature. I want him to be able to be friends with his ex. Sounds great. And sometimes that can be the case, but a lot of times what people do is they keep their exes around as an opportunity to get back with them. They want to smash again at some point. They want somebody to talk about you with. They want to have an opportunity to make sure that if they ever break up with you, they won't be alone. A lot of times an ex is kind of a parachute. They keep somebody on deck for a lifetime even to make sure that if anything goes wrong in their current relationship, they can go back to that other person. A lot of times people keep exes as just somebody to have naked pictures from and dirty text just to supplement to your relationship, which if things don't go well in your relationship, then it's an easy crossover for them to become the relationship. So yeah, being friends with an ex may not always be a bad thing, but a lot of times, let's keep it real, it's somebody they're going to be smashing as soon as you break up, if not during the time that you're together. Now, don't take these signs that I've given you and just run with them and go break up with your dude because he's showing one of the signs. It's all about totality of the circumstances. Normally, if a person is showing all five of these things, it's probably messed up. But, you know, one of them could be a coincidence or whatever. So I'm not telling you, you know, to take one thing and run with it. Look at everything I said and kind of break it down and see if that fits your situation. Now, hopefully I was able to help you out. Once again, it's your man, Chaz Ellis. Make sure you like and subscribe and share this video with somebody else. Peace.